All right, digital imaging. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to do some image trace here. So you've got your document opened up. And uh, what we're going to do is with the image trace, you can uh, turn images uh, into vectors here. So we're going to experiment with some of the different tools that you can use. And you can use this uh, for your t-shirt designs. Um, but you want to know that you want to know that some things just don't really work uh, for the image trace. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, Mario image, and I've purposefully chose here a pretty pixelated image to kind of show you um, how it can work here. So um, you want to have the image selected here, and then when you do that, you should see it up here at the top. Um, if you don't see that, then you can go up to Window. And then you can find image trace here uh, inside your window. Okay. Um, if I click on this, it's going to um, automatically do uh, just a black and white image trace. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to click on the carrot here. And then inside here, you can open up um, some different defaults. And then when I click on one of these, it's going to give me a, uh, some more options. It'll open up a window for that. So uh, I'm just going to do uh, so there's high fidelity photo. Uh, low fidelity photo. So these will do some different photographs. Um, high fidelity means that it's going to be as close as possible to the photo. Low fidelity is, you know, it's going to simplify it. Three colors, it'll break it down into three colors, six, 16 shades, uh, black and white logo. Sketch art, uh, black and white is just going to be black and white. Uh, Sketch art is going to be mostly lines here. Um, silhouettes will be mostly like black and white here and then line art and technical drawing. Uh, I don't really use the sketched art one or this line art or technical drawing one all that much here. Um, so I'm just gonna do a low fidelity photo and kind of see what this looks like here. Oh, it didn't open up. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, so I need to also click on this window here. So here I wanna click on my image trace panel uh, and open that up here, okay? Um, so yours might look like this when you click on it. Here you can click on the presets. Um, I can change this so that if I want to do like three colors, it'll do three colors here. Um, but I'm going to go back to this uh, low fidelity photo here. So if you remember, um, my image was pretty pixelated. And the nice thing about the image trace is it'll turn this into a vector here. And it'll do, it'll round uh, out some of these corners here, get, run out, get rid of some of those like pixelations here. Um, but you can see it's not really uh, quite like super clean here. I can adjust this. So if I want to add more colors here, I can add more colors. Um, depending on the complexity of your image, you'll see a bar that'll go through and kind of tell you what it's working on here. Um, this is a pretty low quality image, so it's going to go, going to go pretty fast here. Um, there's paths here. So the paths will um, create the paths for my line here. There's corners, which will create edges here. Uh, and then there's the noise. And so it'll reduce any sort of like uh, pixelization or noise uh, inside my image here. Okay. Um, you can kind of just kind of play around with these and uh, see what you like here. Okay. Um, I could also do like a limited color palette as well if I wanted to like bring this down to a few amount of colors here. So you can see it kind of brings that down here, uh, something like that, okay? Um, but again, like with an image like this, uh, low quality image, it doesn't always um, work very well. You wanna to try to find a good quality image here. So uh, when you're looking for images, you wanna to try to find uh, large scale images here, okay? Um, so we're gonna move on here. Let's do, we're gonna do black and white. So I'm gonna go over to this owl here. So same thing, I'm gonna click on this. Uh, I'm going to go to image trace. Um, I'm going to do black and white logo. And then again, I want to open up this uh, menu here. Okay. Um, so let me, I'm going to step backwards and that way you can kind of see what's going on here. So if I zoom in, you can see that, you know, this, there's some pixelization here. Um, and we'll see kind of how well the image trace will do. So if I keep an eye on this, you know, you can see there's, it smoothed a lot of stuff out here and made it that black and white. But there's like these parts here, which should be kind of rounded. And we can go back in and edit those uh, inside the image trace panel. Um, and we can also go in and kind of edit those by hand here. The thing about the image trace is you have to remember that it's, uh, it's not perfect. Um, it can work pretty well depending on the type of image that you use. Um, you know, but it's not like 
it's not going to take like a really like bad image and turn it into like a really um, great image here. Okay. So I'm, you know, when I do this, I always just kind of, you know, just kind of play around here and see what looks good. I'll kind of play around with some of these settings here um, and do that. Um, the larger amount, if I want more details, I can bring down my noise level down. So you'll see it will add, add some details here and then do that. When I do this, I usually kind of like zoom out and we'll take a look at stuff. And then I also will kind of zoom in on some more like problem areas that I think are going to be difficult here. Okay. Um, here I can also do a budding, which is uh, lines that are close to each other. I don't ever really uh, mess with this. And then, um, yeah, that looks pretty good here. Okay. So then uh, let's say that I want to, this looks great and I want to finish with this. Then what you want to do is you want to click on expand and you'll see what, when you click on expand, um, you can see your lines that you've made. So then if I grab my direct selection tool, I can see all the nodes and stuff. So it's turned this photograph, this JPEG image, uh, into a vector image here, okay? Um, if I wanted to get rid of some parts of this, like if I wanted to get rid of this white, these lines aren't connected. Uh, so this is opened up here. So if I press delete on this, it's gonna get rid of most of that white. If I wanted to keep that white filled in, um, what I'd want to do is I'd want to like select this section here. I can grab my blob brush here and it should just kind of like zoom out here. If I connect that, that should be connected. Yeah. Um, and then if I do the same thing like over here, I want to make sure I've got that section selected here. Remember with the blob brush, uh, you want to, you should see the color that you've selected. So this is black here, and then I should have that section connected. And it should, whoops, um, it should connect that and make that like all one single piece. Now I'm not for sure why it's being difficult here. Okay, my other option. So also like with this, whoops. Also with this, you know, I'd want to connect this. So if I hold Shift and select this. Then I'd want to go in and then I could grab my shape builder tool, um, which is over here. Okay. And then I could connect these two pieces together. I would do the same thing with this one, connect those two pieces together. I've got to select these two pieces here. So I'm going to hold shift, select these two pieces here. And then it'll merge those. And I think, yeah, so it's going to leave that. And then there's this open spot right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I might just select all these pieces here and then try to use my blob brush to connect it. Yeah, I don't, now my blob brush wants to be like really thick. Oh, well. Great, so now if I select that, there's this little part here. I could go in and kind of clean that up. Uh, there's, never mind, that didn't work. <laughs> so there was there's some open spots here. Um, oh, it was like right here. Yep, I missed some spots. Anyway, if I wanted to fill that in, I'd have to like close these and close these sections here. I missed those spots um, and that could work. Uh, if I wanted to get rid of those other pieces, I could go in and select those. Um, I could also use my magic wand tool as long as there aren't any other white areas. Yeah, there aren't any other white areas. And I could delete those if I wanted to delete those like that. Okay. All right. So then here, uh, let's grab, we're going to use this guy. We're just kind of playing around with some stuff here. So same thing. If I zoom in here, we can see a little bit of uh, pixelization on this skateboarder. Um, let's kind of see what happens when we do this here. I actually don't hate that, um, but let's see what we can get. So we can do a black and white logo. I can increase this threshold here and get kind of like some more details. It's going to be kind of hard here. So a lot of times, like if I just wanted to keep this skateboarder here, um, I would probably keep this as a color here. 
And this is where you can run into some problems. If you've got like a really complex image, um, it can really kind of slow down your computer and make it run really slow. So you, sometimes you want to be careful with kind of what you're deciding on what you want to do here. Uh, looks like I'm kind of missing some eyes here. Hopefully I can get, or like kind of missing some parts here in the face. Oops, it's not what I meant to do. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so I can kind of adjust this, you know, so maybe I want to I could bring down this color palette. Maybe I want to increase some of these paths here and kind of smooth those out. Yeah, it looks like I lost. I really want to keep those eyes on there. I'm going kind of fast here. Usually when I do this, you know, I spend, you know, a little bit more time on this and make sure I can get everything in there. Sometimes it just doesn't quite work. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep his eyes on here. Yeah, so sometimes I got to go in, you know, you got to go in and just kind of uh, fix some things here. So like, let's say this is, I'm happy with this. If I want to keep those eyes, what I would do is click on expand. You know, I can grab this background color, get rid of that. It's going to lose some of the skateboard. I actually didn't, so that's nice. So then what I'd want to do is go in and kind of clean this up. So you can see there's like some stuff here. So like this part here is a couple of extra values here. Um, the thing with this, with the image trace, is it's always really easy to tell if someone has used like an image trace on something, um, unless they've gone in and like really fixed something. So like this, what I'd want to do is go in and kind of just like clean some stuff up so I can go in and like, you know, click on this. Maybe I want to use my rounded tool, kind of round that out. You know, maybe I'd want to grab this, click on this anchor point. Maybe I want to like round this and make this look a little bit better. The problem is there's this, there's a black layer here underneath this kind of cream color here, which is for like the skin tone. So that's kind of what's happening. Um, there's kind of two layers underneath each other here. Um, but let's say that like I wanted to keep that like that. You know, I would go in, maybe I want to use like my round, uh, I want to use my uh, smooth tool and kind of smooth some stuff out so I could kind of like select this, kind of smooth some stuff out here. So when I do the image trace, I don't ever just like, unless it's a really clean image that was like originally like a vector and I found like a really good image that I want to use, um, I really ever like am 100% happy with what I get. Okay. So there's that. But, you know, for the most part, you know, if you imagine kind of like drawing all this stuff out, that would take a really long time. Um, I can really kind of save a lot of time with stuff here. Okay. Let's try this. I haven't tried, I haven't tried this to kind of see what it looks like here. Um, but let's change this to like color. Um, Let's see. Let's just do this. Let's kind of see what these look like here. So I'm going to click on trace. I'm checking out these areas. This is where it's probably going to have some problems. So I'm kind of like looking to see. Yeah, see that was actually pretty good. Okay. Um, but these little like pieces here are kind of like a telltale sign of like image trace. So if I click on expand, you know, again, go in and grab this. And I'd want to like smooth that out and use some of my other tools here. Okay, this little corner, I can grab my um, rounded corners tool here and kind of do that. You know, again, but for the most part, that looks pretty good. I'd have to kind of go in and do some editing here. Okay, and then this last one, let's see what this looks like here. So this is Still like a pretty complex image here, but it's not as complex as like an actual photograph. Um, I purposely didn't put a photograph in here for you guys because uh, it can slow down your system. 
Um, but there's like this watermark. Sometimes it'll get rid of this watermark here. Other times it won't. Um, let's play around here. So we'll do color. Let's keep this at 30. Okay. Um, I can click on some of these other settings here. I can also click on like auto color and do that. Okay, don't really like that. I can switch and try out some of these other ones here. Okay, that looks not bad. And here's where like, you know, this has taken this gradient. So the live trace, the image trace has a lot of problems with like gradients. So if you remember there was like this gradient that went from like one color to another uh, and it had like a really nice blend. It can't do that. So all these pieces are all like individual paths. So you can see like everything that it's made here. So this is like a really kind of complex image. Um, and it's made that all into like that really complex piece here. So stuff like this where there's blends, there's photograph, it's like a photograph where you've got, you know, a photograph has like hundreds of thousands of pixels here. Um, it does not work very well for something like that. Okay. So when you're looking for stuff um, to use for like the image trace, it works really well for, you know, things like this black and white logo, like black and white images here like this that are like really nice and crisp and clean. You know, it works well for something like this with like a limited color palette, pixelated images. It doesn't work very well. Um, and then photographs also doesn't work very well here. So uh, go through and uh, use the image trace on some of these, on these different images here, and then go through and kind of edit these, and you'll want to, you know, kind of shrink these down, and let me see like what you've done um, with the image trace here. And then uh, find a few other photos um, that you want to edit and use with the image trace, kind of see what it looks like here. Okay.